Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on React Native. So in this video, we'll be discussing about how to implement uh, responsive design in mobile-based applications using React Native. So if you find this interesting, please do the like button and also subscribe for more such content. So let's get started. So first of all, let's discuss what exactly is responsive design, right? So this responsive uh, design uh, refers to, you know, building mobile applications that can uh, actually adapt to different kinds of screen sizes as well as resolutions. Okay, so currently I've taken up a previous example of my own application that is in the previous video that is a hinge trading app. So currently I've just copied down my profiles data and I'm just rendering my initial profile on the simulator as you can see. So if you want the data for this, you could just check out the description of the previous video. Also, I would give the code in this particular description as well. You can check that out. Whereas after this, after implementing how to uh, do the responsive design in this particular example, we will also be implementing the responsive design in the second example that is by making use of rectangles and squares so it becomes easier to understand how exactly it's going to work out okay so now in this particular device as you can see the images the design is looking really good and we're able to see the responsiveness also being applied correct, uh, correctly for this particular device that is your iphone 15 pro so i have also opened up the same application that is test project in my another device that is the iPad. So if I open that up, so as you can see, this is the iPad 10th generation. This has obviously a better screen width that is more screen width as well as the screen height. And this is how it is looking uh, when compared to this particular iPhone 15 Pro, right? So over here, as you can see, the image is looking not that perfect because we have just given, you know, static data that is, let's say a height of 300 or a width of 100 percentage, something like that. So because of that in the iPad, it's looking like this. And also talking about your font size of the text over here, it's not looking that good according to the screen width and screen height of your iPad, right? Because it is, it has a bigger screen width and even the images are not looking that good. So now, uh, first of all, to implement this, that is a responsive design, we'll be making use of a package. So let's head over to Chrome and then first of all, install this. In this video, we'll be looking into uh, some part of Flexbox as well as mainly this particular package that is React Native Responsive Screen. All right. So now let's first of all, install this into our uh, application. So I'm going to say yarn add React Native Responsive Screen and I'm just going to install it into this particular app. So I'm going to say yarn add react native responsive screen. So let's install this. And by the time this is installing, let's import our required things. That is this thing. So we have two things over here that is width percentage as well as your height percentage. So this is basically corresponding to the uh, devices width as well as devices height. So just as a short form, you're using WP for width and HP for your height. So let's import this and we're going to paste it over here. As you can see, the package has been installed. So I'm going to paste it over here. Let's save the file. Let's come back over here. So the way we give the style is over here. So by making use of height. So initially what we used to give is just the static data. Let's say in place of this, what they, whatever they've given, we used to write height of let's say 200 and a width of let's say 100 or 100 percentage so because of that in different and in different screen devices we were not able to see the responsiveness being applied right so now we're going to make use of this and then we'll look how exactly it is looking so let's come back over here so now what we're going to do is we're going to only target the images because we have given static data that is static values height of 350 okay so over here instead of your height of 350 we're going to make use of the hp because we've already imported over here. HP stands for your height percentage that is corresponding to your device's height, right? So let's go over here. I'm gonna say HP and over here, I'm just gonna say uh, 45. So let's save the file. So it is still taking to refresh. So let's do one thing. Let's reload the app over here in both the terminals. So reload over here as well, as well as over here for the iPad. Okay, so both of them are opening. So let's give it some time. Okay, so as you can see, you should have seen a difference between the previous image as well as now because we've given a height of 45. So now let's say I'm just going to make 50 just to uh, say that it's working correctly fine. I'm going to say height of 50. I mean, HP of 50. Save the file. Okay, not sure why it's not refreshing. Uh, let's reload again. 
yeah so as you can see you, you are able to see that change in the image okay because we've given a height of 50 so 50 means we are saying take up 50 percent of the screen's height so as you can see it has taken up 50 percent of the screen's height that's how it's going to work so let's also check out in the ipad how exactly it's looking so as you can see now the image is looking you know kind of fine based on the values that we have given so for, the, for these images we have not yet given so that's the reason it's looking in the previous state itself let's go back to our original state that is let's say 45 save the file okay so this is kind of looking good so now we're going to follow along the same uh, strategy for the height okay width would not do anything because we have given width of 100 percentage for the image and i think we would have given somewhere margin vertical or i mean margin horizontal or padding horizontal that reason it's you know it's going to show the space so as you can see we have given margin horizontal of 12 so and we've given width of 100 percentage so it's going to take up the entire screen width and while talking about the height it's going to take up 45 percent of your screen's height so let's do the same thing for other things so if you want you could actually uh, target the prompts as well we have given height of 150 okay so whereas in your uh, tablet i mean in your ipad i think the prompts are looking good you could actually target your uh, font size and then look into that so now let's target the other images and let's look into it it's going to be a simple example because we are only targeting your images so yeah after that let's come back over here yeah this is for the photos again so again i'm just going to replace it with your 45 i think this is for your second and third images let's scroll down this is for your prompts we're not touching the prompts as of now and yeah again height of 350 let's make the change over here again this is the prompts and this is again your photos let's make the change over here as well so i'm just gonna you know save the file once so as you can see let's just scroll down and then let's look into the changes whatever we have done so as you can see the image is looking even more better from the previous state okay so that's looking nice so now let's look into the ipads output how exactly it's looking after giving you know hp of 45 for the images so as you can see now it's looking good okay so it was it's looking good than the previous state and it's completely responsive as well so this is how it's going to look in the ipad all right so yeah this is how you implement your uh, responsive responsiveness in your uh, mobile based applications so now if let's remove all of this and we're going to uh, try it with our uh, with our rectangles as well as squares or just the rectangles so i'm just going to remove everything inside of my uh, return block and that is over here i mean the entire scroll view so instead of this i'm going to initialize my view inside this view i'm going to have another internal view this view in turn is going to have another view uh, which is not going to have anything we're going to have this three times because we are making use of three rectangles over here and below this we're going to have another rectangle if you want you could add more rectangles just to fill up the space and show the screen uh, completely with the different kinds of background colors that we'll be using so inside this again i'm going to have another view so i'm going to start off from the first one so first of all i'm going to give it static data and look how it's looking and then after that we're going to make use of the uh, third party library and then fix it i'm going to give it a height of 450 for the top view and i'm going to give it a flex direction of row and in the view uh, for the first view here i'm going to say style i'm going to give it a width of 130 and i'm going to give it a background color of let's say blue so i'm just going to copy down this a couple of times for this one as well as well as for this one so let's say for this i'm going to give it a width of 130 it's going to remain same whereas for the background color i'm going to give it green in this case and for this i'm going to give it yellow okay so let's save the file once and let's see how it's looking so as you can see this is how it's going to look in your iphone 15 pro uh, when you you know uh, design the rectangles just like this so let's save the file once so as you can see we have given a height of 450 and for each of the view internally that's present we have given a width of 130 130 as well as 130 and we've given different background colors so now let's look into the ipad how it's looking whether it's taking up the entire space it should actually take up the entire space for the responsive design so let's see how it's looking so let's go to the ipad over here so as you can see it's not taking up the entire space it is showing the white space over here because uh, we have not done the responsive design we are just providing your static values for your height as well as for your width so let's also design the next part that is view over here so this is also uh, gonna remain empty i'm gonna uh, style it out over here i'm gonna give it a height of 180 
and for the top part I'm going to give it a height of 300 so here I'm going to say height of 300 and then save the file so let's give the background color so that we could see the view so I'm going to say background color of let's say pink this time save the file so as you can see we have given the background color of pink and this is how it's going to look so if you want to complete this part also you could actually give another view with some uh, height as well so let's see how exactly it's looking in your uh, ipad so this is how it's looking so uh, this part is working fine according to your responsiveness because it's taking up the whole screen and it is and, and it and it only has a single container as of now so as you can see over here at the top part of the container that is this view is not uh, correctly being structured because it's only taking up your static values of your width and height and towards the right part of the screen we have that white color background which should not be seen because it should be responsive right so now the next step is uh, with the help of your library that is react native responsive screen we're going to fix this so let's say i'm going to start off from the first one so here instead of uh, height of 450 i'm going to say hp of 50 so i'm going to save the file so it has taken up the height of 50 with the help of hp and for the width i'm going to take a, a width of 34 so let's just copy this and paste it over here so for width you, you're gonna make use of WP and for height you're gonna make use of HP. So as soon as I save the file, this should remain as is and even the tablet, I mean, and even the iPad should go into the correct position. So let's save the file. So as you can see, it's looking uh, really nice after giving this particular styling. So let's check out in the iPad. So as you can see, just like this, even both of them are looking really good because of the responsive design that we have given. So I hope you understood that how your responsive design is going to work. So you could actually basically apply to your view container that is having your height or you could majorly apply it to your image where you give the width and height. So if you give a width of 100 percentage, I don't think that should cause any kind of problem if you have, if you have given some kind of uh, margin of padding. Whereas if you give some static kind of values like height of 100, height of 300 or width of 300. So in that case, it might, you know, error out in the bigger devices just like the ipad so now let's discuss the second method that is the most simpler one that is by making use of your flex box okay so as you can see over here we have given the flex direction of row okay so now uh, we, we are not going to make use of the third party library that is we are not going to actually make use of any width and height just by making use of flex box we are going to achieve this particular design as well as this design in both of your devices so let's remove the width basically and I'm going to remove it over here as well and here also so now I'm just going to give it a flex of one for each of the container take uh, saying that take up equal spaces for each of the container that's present so I'm just going to say background color of this particular color and a flex of one for each of them so first of all let's you know save the file so nothing should happen because we've given a flex of one so the same thing should happen so the same thing should be seen in your ipad as well so let's check that out so as you can see with the help of flexbox as well you could implement this so let's say i remove the flex of one i don't think anything should be uh, shown because we have not given anything okay everything disappears off so let's come back to the previous state Okay, so that's how you implement your responsive design with the help of a flex box as well as your uh, package as well. That is React Native responsive screen. So hope you find this video useful. So if you find this interesting, please do the like button and let's see you in the next video. And then thank you for watching.